All right, once again, for the third time I'm trying to do this video, they keep popping up this Amber Alert. I done turned on the Do Not Disturb. You know what I'm saying? They keep popping up. I don't care. That's judgment from the Lord. You know, whoever that person is, hey, that's judgment from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, once again, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, uh, double honors uh, by Hashem Rakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love to you, uh, hopefully, like brothers and sisters out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, I'm the brother, not by Ayasha, the Jim Mancini, and Indianapolis count. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today, we're going to be dealing with stop bowing down to these idols. Hope, Lord willing, this video, I'll be able to finish this video. Like I said, it's like the third time trying to do it because the Amber Alert keep popping up, you know. Hey, but that's judgment from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, her parents might have been, whoever this, this person is, their parents might have been putting up other things as idols above the Heavenly Father. See what I'm saying? Because you cannot be bowing down to the other gods and, and idols before they have you how about shooting out with shot. You know what I'm saying? Nothing comes before or above you how about shooting out with shot. You know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures say, you how about shooting out with shot and angry with the wicked every day. The scriptures also said that the Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta pay for your punishment. When you commit a crime here in Esau's kingdom, well what, what happened? You either get a ticket or you go to jail. So you gotta what? Answer for your 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 crime. You broke the law. You see what I'm saying? Because when the Lord tell you not to bow down to another God, that's a law. And we're gonna get it right here in Exodus. This is Exodus chapter 20, and I'm gonna start at verse 1. And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, Yahweh Bashim Shai, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And right, right now, we're back in the land of Egypt. Back in the land of bondage. See what I'm saying? Because anytime, just like now with this C-19 situation, you can't freely go and come as you want to anymore. Now you got to start in, in, in different parts of the, the country and cities, you got to start showing card, or the, uh, the cards showing that you've been juiced up with this gorilla, uh, gorilla glue. So that mean what? You're in bondage. You gotta go to work, pay taxes. You know what I'm saying? You can't, there's no so-called free will left anymore in this country. You know what I'm saying? Really, the Constitution has been done away with, really, to be honest about it. So you're in bondage here in Babylon, AKA America. See what I'm saying? So this is the land of Egypt all over again. It says, thou shall not, thou shall have no other gods before me. See, this is a law. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. A lot of you people are putting Cardi B up, Megan Thee Stallion, the baby, little baby, uh, who else? Snoop. People like uh, these sports entertainers. You know what I'm saying? These 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 actresses, actors and actresses. Y'all putting them up as gods. Y'all putting these church pastors up as gods, like TDJ, Creflo Dollar, Joel Osteen. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All these different church pastors and, and uh, uh, preachers, y'all putting up, a, putting them up as gods. But what the Bible says, thou shall have no other gods before me. So when y'all do that, y'all are what? Breaking the law, statute, commandments of the heavenly Father and the Son. You how about shooting out with shot? See what I'm saying? So even when you run down to your government and you take this uh gorilla, gorilla uh, uh, glue. You know what I'm saying? Jab them to your arm. You basically saying that Esau is your is your God, just like y'all did in the past. We have no uh, what to say? We have no no uh, we have no God but Caesar. See what I'm saying? That's what y'all basically saying. So what you, what you think? How do you think the Lord feels? You think the Lord is happy with that decision of you going down there to the to the government and, and not trusting Him? See if you trust in the Lord. You'll be healed. I know that from experience. See what I'm saying? I went through certain situations uh, uh, just last month. I was hit with with two different uh, 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 ailments that could that could kill you. And guess what? I kept my trust in Yahweh Shimei Shai 
and you, yeah, you see me standing here right now doing this video. Why? Because I trusted in the Lord, man. I ain't trusting in, in Esau's uh, science or, or medicine and run down there and get that gorilla glue jabbed into my arm. No, I trusted you how about shooting out a shot. See what I'm saying? Verse uh, Exodus 20, verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Hey, this is Satan. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any. Hold on one second. That's the wind blowing hard. All of a sudden, now the wind wasn't blowing at first, but now all of a sudden the wind want to blow hard. I'm trying to do the, that's safe, man. See, we got to fight against these principalities and, and powers, rulers in darkness. See, you got to fight against these elements when you're in this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why these church pastors don't come out here to the highways and byways. They don't do things like you see the men of the Lord doing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all want to put them up as gods. You know what I'm saying? Back in Exodus chapter 20, verse uh, 4, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. What's a graven image? It's something that you carve or, or, or make with your hand. You know what I'm saying? Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. It said, uh, that's why you got uh, that false religion, Islam. What what you what they what graven image they have? The copper stone. You know what I'm saying? That's a graven image. You know? That's not the image of Yahweh by Shimia The Lord, the Lord give you an example of what it looked like with Revelation 1 and 13. Well, Revelation chapter 1 starting at verse 11. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, of anything in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Like what? An example there is the Roman Catholic Church with, with Dagon and the fish god. I want you to see him with that hat, where it would look like a fish, a, a fish head with his mouth open up. See what I'm saying? That's, that's a Babylonian god, Dagon and the fish god. And that's what these churches really celebrate. That's what they really worship it. When you see the little fish, that don't represent what, what you have a shy use to feed the multitude, the two fish and five loaves of bread. No, that ain't got that ain't got nothing to do with it. That goes back to the worship of Dagon. That's an African or Babylonian uh, uh, false god. But that's what's promoted here in Babylon. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, I said, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, like uh, what's another thing that's used here in, in America? The Christmas tree. A lot of y'all bow down to the Christmas tree. When you're putting your gift under that tree, you're bowing down to another god because that's supposed to be the uh, the rod or the penis of a uh, Nimrod. See what I'm saying? So when you bow, when you putting that gift under the tree, you're making that another god, and therefore the Lord is angry. See what I'm saying? So the Lord is not with it. It says, uh, Thou should not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Because when you bow down to another God, that's not showing love for you. How about Shimei Hushai? That, that's showing that you hate him. But a lot of y'all, like the scripture say, these people honor me with their, their lips or their mouth, and their heart is far from me. Meaning your mind is far from them. It's far from the Lord. Because you're not at all thinking about the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You you may think you're you're worshiping your how about Shimei was shy, but you're not. You're actually worshiping and bowing down to Satan, man. See what I'm saying? Therefore, when you leave that church and you get into a car wreck, that's judgment. Or you leave church and you get home, and there's like four fire trucks outside your, your home spraying your house down because your house caught on fire from having a Christmas tree in there. That's judgment from the Lord. Why? 
because you put another God before him. And the Lord said, thou, thou shalt have no other gods before me. See what I'm saying? Or you singing a song from Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion and your throat goes out. You find out you got throat cancer. That's judgment from the Lord. Why? Because you put another God before him. Or your son get killed in a drive-by. You know what I'm saying? Because you put him up at, on a pedestal as treating him like the husband that you want or trying to shape him to be the husband that you want. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord, Lord puts him to death. That's judgment. Why? Because you bowing down and putting another God before you. How about she now was shot? That's, that's just the truth of the matter. See what I'm saying? Or you sitting there purposely saying the wrong name of the Heavenly Father and the Son where you acknowledge that Satan is your God. Like our people did back in, in Rome, they said we have no other God but Caesar. We have no God but Caesar. See what I'm saying? They denounced Yahweh and said that the Roman Caesar was their God. Just like they're doing right now when they go down there and take their gorilla glue in their arm, you're saying you have no God but Caesar because you're putting Esau up as your God. You're not, you're saying that you don't trust Yahweh Shemiah Shai, that you trust Esau more than the Lord. Therefore, you will receive your judgment. Because when you're in Esau's kingdom and you break the law, what happens? You get a ticket or you get put to death. Same way with the Lord. You break the laws of the Heavenly Father and the Son, guess what? The Lord pronounced judgment on you, and sometimes it's fatal. Meaning what? Death. You may have a car crash and die. You could die from an insect bite. You could die from a vicious animal. You could die from somebody shooting you in your face. Either way, that judgment from your how about shooting out of Shot because you didn't acknowledge it as a true power and, and true uh, deliverer and savior, man. You put another God before him. So therefore, the Lord pronounced judgment on you. See what I'm saying? So stop bowing down to these other gods, man. Like the alphabet people, the L LGBT, Q, L M N O P, Q R S T V W X Y Z uh, community. Hey, a lot of y'all put them up as gods, man. Hey, we suffer the same struggle as the, as the, as the, as the civil rights. You know, y'all suffer, suffer the same struggle as the Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all was included in the civil rights, but it wasn't the same struggle. Some of y'all put them up as gods. Therefore, you're going to receive your judgment and your punishment, man. See what I'm saying? So with that, hey, a ball, 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 shalom on. You know, and stop bowing down to these guys, man, and bow down to you. How about you? How about Shimia Rasha, the true savior and true power, and acknowledge him, man. See what I'm saying? Before you get your judgment, Shalom.